Isn't that a beautiful plant? All right, this video is about the most important part of growing Venus flytraps indoors, and that is the lighting. That's a fruit, no! All right, so these lights are shop lights. They're not special. They're not grow lights. They're not marketed to growing plants. They're not advertised for this use. They're just meant for lighting your home, your garages, your closets, etc. What is special is the color temperature of these lights. These lights are 6500K and they are bright. All right, so what you want is 6500K as the um, color temperature of the lights. These lights specifically are 6500K at 40 watts per light. 5,000 lumens per light. The lumens are important. A lot of times when you're buying lights, they're going to be in different measurements. You want specifically lumens. You're going to see something and it'll be like 5,000 luminous flux. It doesn't mean anything. See like 6 million flux. It doesn't mean anything to you. Um, 4,000 grapefruits. Like that doesn't mean anything. Lumens. Lumens is what you want. That's, that's what means everything to us. So we have what temperature color lights we want. Now the intensity. As you know, Venus flytraps are direct sun plants. A lot of places will try to convince you that they're partial sun. They are full sun plants. So how do you measure the intensity of the light they are getting per day? It's called the DLI value. I have a chart here showing the recommended light intensities for Dianae Musipula and active growth. So what we're aiming for is the dark green, which is 22 and up. So how do we get the value? We use a free app. Um, the one I'm using is Photone on iPhone. And I know Android users will have some sort of equivalent, equivalent out there. It's free. Uh, when you go onto it, it'll say, you know, diffuser required. And then it'll be like these different options for what you're measuring. So like color temperature, light meter, daily light integral, and then par meter. We want to go to daily light integral and then the diffuser required means we want to put torn basic printer paper on top over the camera because this app was designed to use basic torn white printer paper as a diffuser. So this app gets you in the ballpark of the information that you need to know. Of course it's not the most accurate thing in the world but it's we don't need it to be the most accurate thing in the world. So here's me with uh, some torn paper over the top. Typically, I'll pull it tight when I'm using it. Then I take this and I go to the edges of my setup and I measure the DLI. And if the DLI is 22 and up, I'm happy. And I also check the middle. If it's not too high, I'm happy. Um, too high would be 45 and up range. I was burning my plants consistently. So I would keep it down to around like um, low 30s or so. So that's where I have mine here my plants. The importance of the color being 6500 has to do with a lot of things involving how plants take cues from sunlight and the light balances in the sunlight spectrum to tell them how to grow. Venus flytrap is no exception. So there's a lot of stuff I'm not going to include in the description to this video. I put the links to how light impacts the Venus flytraps and uh, the different reasons why I know this stuff. Also, I have put in the description of this video all of the equipment that I use. So I put the lights that I use. These lights are sold in one packs, six packs, and 10 packs. These are the 10 packs. I have five up here and then five down below. It's two identical shelves that I use right now. I'm also putting a link to the shelf I have. Um, anything else I can think of, I'll make videos on it. This video is kind of rushed because there's a lot that I'm trying to cram into something small. So I'll probably upload a better form of this later. 